Hello everyone and welcome back to Excel VBA tutorial series. So today's lesson is really exciting as it's about writing your first loop on Excel VBA. So without wasting any time, let's jump down to the Excel workbook right on the developers tab and Visual Basic. Now let's create a new sub called how to write loops. So before we actually start off, um, what is a loop? Loop is nothing but basically um, a repetitive writing your repetitive task and um, allowing it to run with a given condition. So assuming I have to write something like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 right from row number 1 to row number 10 I want to write it this way so if I were to not use loop I would probably have to write it this way so range a1 dot value is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 I could just copy paste that and change the values and then accordingly make it meet as per my requirements and then I could again change the numbers that I want to send to those cells so I could just write this and this would pretty much give me the same outcome but what if I were to write something which were had to be from 1 to 65 right till the end 65,536 then would this be the best way to write it probably not and of course not because this would mess up your entire structure of your codes that you'll be writing in this module and this module itself will be filled up with 65,000 lines so um, let's start off with our first loop, loop using the same example so firstly you, you may want to define a variable as an integer a loop does one with the help of numbers so you may want to define a variable let's start off with the for loop so let's say for this is how you start off the loop for i equal to 1 to 10 and then this is how you start off your loop so what this means is when the loop will start i will be 1 and it will keep running until i reaches number 10 when you say next i the moment the loop reaches to this point the value of i becomes i equal to i plus 1 so example the first time when it runs I will be 1 the second time when it runs I will be 2 3 4 and so on so let's write a first loop let's say this workbook dot sheets tutorial dot cells row number 1 instead of column 1 we will write column instead of okay so let's write um, instead of row let's write i what this would do is this would assign the variable i as the row number dot value equal to i so when this loop now runs the first time when it runs the row number i will be one the second time when it runs the row number i will be two and so on and also the value being entered in that loop will again increase as per i's value so if i have to run this now as you can see we have the outcome right here starting from 1 to 10 so this is basically how we write loops and the benefits of writing loops and systematically writing your codes so anyways thanks for watching guys stay tuned for more examples and loops and how to write loops and see you soon